secondary growth. The growth of the roots and stems in length with the help of apical meristem is called the primary growth. Apart from primary growth, most dicotyledonous plants exhibit an increase in girth. This increase is called the secondary growth. The tissues involved in secondary growth are the two lateral meristems. A. Vascular cambium and B. Cork cambium. A. Vascular cambium. The meristematic layer that is responsible for cutting off vascular tissues, xylem and phloem, is called vascular cambium. In the young stem, it is present in patches as a single layer between the xylem and phloem. Later, it forms a complete ring. Formation of cambial ring. In dicot stems, the cells of cambium present between primary xylem and primary phloem is the interfascicular cambium. The cells of medullary cells adjoining these intrafascicular cambium become meristematic and form the interfascicular cambium. Thus, a continuous ring of cambium is formed. Activity of the cambial ring. The cambial ring becomes active and begins to cut off new cells both towards the inner and the outer sides. The cells cut off towards pith mature into secondary xylem and the cells cut off towards periphery mature into secondary phloem. The cambium is generally more active on the inner side than on the outer. As a result, the amount of secondary xylem produced is more than secondary phloem and soon forms a compact mass. The primary and secondary phloems get gradually crushed due to the continued formation and accumulation of secondary xylem. The primary xylem, however, remains more or less intact in or around the center. At some places, the cambium forms a narrow band of parenchyma, which passes through the secondary xylem and the secondary phloem in the radial directions. These are the secondary medullary rays. Springwood and atomwood. The activity of cambium is under the control of many physiological and environmental factors. In temperate regions, the climatic conditions are not uniform through the year. In the spring season, cambium is very active and produces a large number of xylary elements, having vessels with wider cavities. The wood formed during this season is called spring wood or early wood. In winter, the cambium is less active and forms fewer xylary elements that have narrow vessels, and this wood is called atom wood or late wood. The spring wood is lighter in color and has a lower density, whereas the atom wood is darker and has higher density. The two kinds of woods that appear as alternate concentric rings constitute an annual ring. Annual rings seen in a cut stem give an estimate of the age of the tree. Heartwood and sapwood. In old trees, the greater part of secondary xylem is dark brown due to deposition of organic compounds like tannins, raisins, oils, gums, aromatic substances and essential oils in the central or innermost layers of the stem. These substances make it hard, durable and resistant to the attacks of microorganisms and insects. This region comprises dead elements with highly lignified walls and is called heartwood. The heartwood does not conduct water, but it gives mechanical support to the stem. The peripheral region of the secondary xylem is lighter in color and is known as the sapwood. 
It is involved in the conduction of water and minerals from root to leaf 